a step function has a series of horizontal lines, if we notice here. It's discontinuous, that is, you, you have to jump to get to the next one. The greatest integer function is usually what your step function is going to look like. The greatest integer function is kind of misleading. It's the biggest integer that's less than or equal to your number. And we usually denote it by brackets or sometimes it'll be like half of a bracket. Oops, I didn't mean to put the bracket on the end of that one. Or sometimes you'll see it like two bars. That's the greatest integer function. It's the biggest number that's less than or equal to, the biggest integer that's less than or equal to your number. So that, for example, if your number is 1.5, if you do the greatest integer function, what's, what's the biggest number less than or equal to 1.5? Well, it's one. If it's negative, you have to think, what's the, what's the biggest number less than or equal to negative 1.6? It's not negative one. It's negative 2. Now we can apply the greatest integer function or variations of it to an application problem. It says one psychologist charges for counseling sessions at a rate of $85 per hour or any fraction of. Draw a graph to represent this. So what we're going to do, let's represent time as our independent variable. And let's count by halves. So here's zero. Actually, I'll count by quarters, but I only write a half in. Here's one half hour, one hour, one and a half hours, two hours, two and a half, three hours, and so on. And they're charging $85 per hour, so I'm going to think I'll count by 85s. So here's 85. 85 plus 85 is 170. And then plus another 85 is 255. Plus another 85 is 340. Well, you're not going to charge anything for zero hours, but anything above zero, you're going to go to 85. So I'm going to put an open circle at 85 and up to one hour, that'll be $85. Let's see if I can get my line. Well, that didn't work out very well. There we go. And then after one hour, you're going you're gonna to be charged $170 all the way up to two hours. And then after two hours, you're going to be charged $255 all the way up to three hours and so on. And that's what your stump function looks like. See why it's called steps? Because they kind of look like steps going up. 